in South Africa, Nurse Belikazi Medlalozik has a front row seat to see the government's response to the new coronavirus. Training colleagues testing and screening for the virus, she warns that a mass screening and testing campaign underway may miss many infections. With an expert flick of the wrist, Nurse Medlalozik collected throat swabs from young men lining up for coronavirus testing at a rundown hostel in downtown Johannesburg. Health workers were sent to the overcrowded block of single-room flats, mainly occupied by men from rural areas doing odd jobs in the city as part of a mass community screening and testing, or CST, campaign launched by the government last month. Medalos, who is a, employed by Doctors Without Borders, or MSF, let her family a usual job in the northwestern town of Rosenberg in March to support community work in Johannesburg. Age 51, she trains government health workers to handle suspected coronavirus patients correctly, checking in on CSC teams deployed to townships, offices, and shopping malls. Medalos said, quote, we Identify those that are COVID-19 positive and those that have symptoms. These are vulnerable people, she added, pointing out that most would not even think to visit a clinic when sick. By being here, we actually target the right group. It breaks here, yeah, it's going to be too much. And these people, at the end of the month, they go home to see their families and they take the same coronavirus to those families. The mask release, mask release is done without the tr proper training. And they go out there, they do the mask running and they have to swap people in. But now with lacking in terms of the skill. And then it, it won't make any change because there will be a lot of clients that will be missed because people are not going, doing the correct thing. The mask running will help, but if it's done correctly. But as South Africa's coronavirus outbreak picks up pace with confirmed cases creeping over 13,500, including 247 deaths, Mandalos and other health experts are beginning to see the limits of the country's lauded community screening strategy. Nurse Mandalos says we are not out of the woods. Take a look. We have dodged a bullet. We still gonna have massive of positive cases because now we are actually in the communities where they are having it. Even in the churches, we had lots of people that were just going in with our masks. Remember, even the mask thing only came out two, three weeks with the second lockdown. Yes, but then before that lockdown, we were not having masks. 